Welcome to Tuesday Tech Tips, I'm Mark Dixon and this week I want to show you how you can easily create video assessment feedback for your learners right from your desktop. Screencast-O-Matic's a great, easy to use, free tool that lets you record your computer screen to enable you to create voiced over PowerPoints and create video feedback for assessment. Assessment lies at the heart of the learning experience. How learners are assessed shapes their understanding of the curriculum and determines their ability to progress. The visual nature of video means that it can be more engaging for the learner and can add more context to your feedback than what written and audio feedback can do. So, to get started, we need to go over to screencast-o-matic.com. and then click the Start Recording for Free button, and then click the Launch Free Recorder. The first time that you do this, you'll be asked to download the Recorder Launcher. What's great is you can download and install this recorder without admin rights for your machine. Once you've downloaded and installed the recorder, you're ready to go. This time, when you click the Launch Free Recorder, this window opens and you can open the Screen Record Launcher. And then the recording window opens. From here, you can decide how we're going to record our videos. You can decide whether just to record the screen, just a webcam, or both. So for this, we're going to be recording the screen. The maximum recording time is set at 15 minutes, and really, you want your feedback to be much shorter than this. You want it to be concise and to the point. Okay, so now you can decide on how much of the screen you want to record by dragging the corners of the bounding box. And you can see that moving around now, so you could just, just record a section or all of your window. And now we can open up the document that we're going to give assessment to. So you can see now that we've got a Word document open that we want to give feedback on. So now we can click the record button and we'll get a three second download. And then we're live. So from here, we can now give some feedback on this piece of work. Uh, and because it, we're working in Word, you can click and highlight. So from here, you could talk about some of the um, spelling and grammar areas. So like here, it says the floor surface is comma, and then we've got a capital tape. That really should be a full stop there. So we can talk to the learner about that. We can also highlight full passages to talk about how this is either meeting or needs to meet the learning outcome. So you can give all of that kind of feedback, and the learner can actually see exactly which bits you're talking about and, uh, and, and what you're trying to, um, the information you're trying to get across. As with all feedback, using a subject, judgment, justification, and development structure would be the best practice to ensure that you're giving quality feedback and feed forward. Once you've finished recording, you just press the pause button here, and then click the done button. And then in a pop-up window, you get your video file. You can scrub through and uh, see each element. And what's really great is that you can trim the beginning and the end. So if there's any kind of pauses as you're starting up the video, you can actually trim those. And once you've done that, if you hover over, you get this pop-up here and you can decide how you're going to save your video. Now we're gonna upload that video for the learners. So we're gonna save it as a video file. So if you click that, and then you need to change the file name so we can name this, I'm gonna name mine test and then you can decide which folder you want it to go into, and I'm gonna save mine to the desktop. And once we've done that, we can click Publish. It doesn't take very long for it to um, export the file. And now that it's done that, we can play the video and get an idea. Now you can see here with the free version, you get a Screencast-O-Matic logo in the corner. I don't think that makes any, any difference really, and I don't think it's worth paying for the full version just to get rid of this here. So if we click play, from here, we can now give some feedback on this uh, piece of... So as you can see, it just reflects what you saw on the screen. So when you're highlighting text in Word, it highlights it on the video. So there you go. Video feedback that's quick, easy to do, and most importantly, effective for your learners.